since you want to scoot over. Oh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just combine like now I feel because I feel like a little dude next to it. <laughs> I feel like that dude. This is the outtakes, dude. I feel like that dude Heat over there from that little. Yeah. Hey man, what's up, man? My name's Edward Hernandez. <laughs> little Edward. Like, uh, the whole thing, like I'm gonna be like, hey man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what is up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the Dude Man Homie Bro podcast, the DSP pod. Fellas are here, fellas are here. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Pat Christopher, we got... Scott, At your homie Pat. Scott Ramos, Jacob Flores, and Edward Hernandez. What Hell up? yeah. What up, sucker? What's up? What up, little Edward? <laughs> I'll make you look little. You, now that I see it, I do make you look yes, little, man. bro. Like, I remember I did a show with Felipe Esparza, and I said, let me take a picture with you. Let me take a picture. He goes, let me see it. He goes, damn, fool, you make me look like a giant, bro. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> I didn't make you look like a giant, bro. You look like a giant, dude. Yeah. I was like, damn. I'm really not this fat, but <laughs> the camera adds cameras that uh, camera, camera adds six hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what I heard, dude. So, dude. I was watching Tommy Boy again when he does the. Does this make Does this make me look fat? He's like, does this suit make me look fat? He's like, no, your face does. Yeah, dude. You could be on the Chingona tour, dude. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for, man. The Chingonota tour, dude. That's why I'm getting fatter, so my tits get bigger. <laughs> You could be one of the chingonotas, bro. Yeah, yeah. One more taco. When that taco gland kicks in, bro. Put me in, man. Nah. You know? You're already the funniest. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's a good thing about San Antonio. You, as soon as you get here, you can smell the gorditas. Now, I'm not talking about the food, bro. Oh, I'm so talking funny. about the girls walking around. Yeah, dude. Man, there was what did you go? Uh, did you go up tonight at the mic? No, 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 dude. I, I went out there and just hung out, dude. Really, you know what? I, I don't like that step at that open mic, bro. It is really hard. It's, oh, it's, gonna oh, be it's, crazy. it's hard for me to get up and everything gets real quiet and everyone looks at me all awkward. And it, I just don't like that step, bro. Right now, I just don't feel comfortable just of that awkwardness. I don't feel like I'm walking natural enough yet, dude. It's, I, the inflection in my ankle. It's is, crazy that you're not wearing the boot anymore. Oh, dude, no, you know, I went to physical therapy and they go, our plan is to get you out of this boot. We want you out of this boot. The next day, I was, I just got rid of the boot. Yeah. And to and limped around bro i'm terrified of rolling my ankle right now bro no like like if i rolled my ankle right now i'd probably die dude i just i just die you That'd go into shock it, 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 like, like the not pain. last friday but the friday before this when we had the show me and Celia were on our way back from uh downtown and i was like let's go to the bar real quick we'll go to who's who we go to who's who who's the first person i run into who you dude oh, oh. who's you at, <laughs> at who's who? Oh, who's who? And dude, I, 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 I don't know what foot I stepped on, but I know I stepped on a foot. Yeah, he just crunched. and I immediately apologized profusely. Dude, just, you can hear just crunchy sound, and that was my toes. He oh, just stepped on a bag of chips. Dude. I was like, "Thank you, Scott, with your size forty-five shoe." When you told me that, <laughs> dude, I felt so bad. Dude. When you told me you ran into Eddie, I thought you meant Eddie from the club. Who works oh, there. yeah, because we went to the other bar over there. So yeah. that I just saw him right now, and I was like, hey, yeah, Scott told me he ran into you at Who's Who. He's like, man, I must have been hammered. I'm never there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I, 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 oh, that was the other thing. So I, I'm used to calling you Eddie, but I know everyone calls you Edward. So one, thank you again for bailing me out when I was in Nashville with Chris. Chris Pettis? Yes. Because uh, as soon as like I, I meet him, like, hey, what's going on, bro? He's like, oh, you're Scott, you know, cool. And then uh, someone goes, don't leave him and Aldo Caldo together because they're just going to f- like, they're just joking. Who and Aldo Caldo? You and Aldo Caldo or yeah. Chris and Aldo Caldo? Me, me and Aldo. Okay. I know Aldo, yeah. And they're, they're saying this to Chris and John Garza and the band. He's like, because he's a comedian too. Yeah. He's like, oh, you're a comedian, Scott? He goes, uh, like, where are you out of? I was like, oh, San Antonio. He goes, uh, you know Edward Hernandez? I was like, yeah, f- Eddie, he's like, I don't know Eddie, I know Edward. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then he was like, hold on real quick. And just pulls out his phone, he's like, what's your last name, bro? <laughs> he's like, one more time, say your last name again? I was like, Ramos, dude. And he's like, all right, Eddie said you're all right, man. You're, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you should have like, nah, that dude owes me 20 yeah, bucks. Yeah, dude, <laughs> dude man. he tripped me out. Like, I mean, I, I, I get he's not going to suck because you're cool with him, you know what I mean? But like, He's he's a dog. Like he's a homie. You can That's talk to bro, him. Dude. He can sh- talk sh- 
<laughs> he's a regular dude. But I don't know him right like that. The neighborhood by Jeff. He, yeah. We went to Maverick Elementary to School together. Uh, then he went to Longfellow and I went to St. Paul. But then we went to Jefferson High School together. We graduated from Jeff together. And we've been friends, you know. Yeah. We've been friends since elementary school. And we stayed friends. We're two of the few dudes that have stayed really close when he, you know, we, he, he became famous. Like when I get around him and, and we're like backstage at shows and yeah. something like that. And he's around all the people and there's all these people being groupies and when he introduces me to his other people in the industry he's like this is my friend from before music those and they go oh okay i get it you know yeah. he's now this. and so but yeah that's my bro dude that's i love that dude dude man. super it. cool i like i just i mean i knew he was gonna be all right at least at worst he's gonna be all right yeah. but like he'll talk back like i was like all right this is, he's cool he's a dog dude yeah. Good hang. he was yeah dope as f yeah that's and super super uh uh generous with uh just food everything yeah every you know the yeah, place he's got everything yeah, he's got it he's he's a happy dude you know he's i went to he bought a badass new pad recently i went to his house he calls me up and was like bro come over i already fucking ordered a steak for you from salt fuck grass yeah, dude fucking the food's here you need to get the fuck over here and tug and i get over there doing shots and, uh, and then you know and oh he, like, that motherfucker he is a fun drink doing it right dude, yeah, he's a yeah, he's he, a dope hang he likes to take shots you know we always do shots man we were talking we talked like we talked about some other shit and then uh what did i i, I asked him oh i had asked him about uh because he's like dude i don't like i don't know if i can keep doing this like the, music. the hang yeah the hangovers he's oh. like the partings like, i can't keep up anymore i was like oh do you smoke and he was like uh you know like a little bit you know not you know not really I was like, you should smoke more, man. Like, you don't get a hangover. Like, I'm promoting it to him. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, yeah, man, I know. I've been around since I was like 13. <laughs> <laughs> so we do is smoke when we hang dude, out. Dude, he was so fucking dope. Ever heard of weed, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that weed. That's man. rare, dude. Like, do you have any childhood uh, best friends or friends? Uh, yeah, just I had, there's like a handful of guys I went to school that with. That you still, still talk, talk to? to? Yeah. You? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's just me. Like my Not elementary, but like high school for sure. Bro. Yeah, high school for sure. But like yeah. they've known each other since elementary school. There's people I talk to from like middle school, me? elementary, but I'm not not like them two. My ex girlfriend, um, the one I just broke up with, we went to Maverick Elementary School together, with, and her and Chris, all of us. I've got so many friends that are still my friends today from elementary, junior high, and high school. That's are y'all yeah, still from the same area? Are y'all still the same area? we're all kind of in the same in Jefferson area. Yeah. And the reunion, like, the, it's weird. Jefferson reunions are a big thing. Hmm. Jefferson High School is one of those schools that a lot of classes have these reunions where everyone gets together still. Yeah. They go to Deco because they, you know, they go to Woodlawn Lake for the shit. They, my buddy, uh, one of my buddies from uh, Jeff, he owns uh, the Lighthouse uh, Lounge right there by Woodlawn Lake. So, I mean, you go to HB, you're still seeing everyone still. Yeah. I know the people that got jobs when we were in high school at HEB and they're still, and they're still there. there. No <laughs> shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Yes. They, they went and they're, they're, they're doing great. Up. Yeah, yeah, they're doing great. It's badass, dude. And I'm still in the neighborhood there. Um, you know, I own a house right there, in, right here in Inspiration Hills. Yeah. And then my parents still own uh, two houses over there by, uh, right, by, right across the street from Jefferson on Alexander Hamilton. So I'm in the neighborhood big time. Yeah, dude. he's like, dude, I live like five, six minutes from here. Yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm right around the corner, and I, I don't want to. When people start talking about it, 1604, I do that. <laughs> That's too far, man. 1604, I'm not, not going to make it, bro. Like 410, like it, inside the loop, we're good. But when you start getting a little bit, 281, Wurzbach Parkway? What <laughs> yeah. the hell is that? Like, I didn't know. I thought sea that World, was, he starts talking yeah, about Sea dude. World. He called me, and he's like, what side of 410 are you on? I was like, <laughs> Dude, it's like when I was in prison and, and people would ask me, hey, bro, uh, uh, what side of town are you from? And I'd be like, Northwest? Ah, PJ North. Fucking PJ. <laughs> Cavachero, wanna be white boy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd say, uh, uh, well, what bus goes by your house? And I was like, the bus. Bitch, bus? I don't fucking know. My mother, I had a car. <laughs> ah, see, boy, white boy. Look at you. Oh, you, know, like, you think you're better than me? Yeah, you, yes, I am, motherfucker. Exactly. That's exactly what I think. Now get away from me, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yes, dude. That's exactly. That's how them, them dirty fucking. I like to ask people what school they went to. Where, where, where'd you graduate from? Where high school I you graduate hear, from? I think that's like the San Antonio call. I always do. That. I, you, yeah. I hear that everywhere. Yeah. Because I mean, it tells you about like. Uh, what side of town? Now I know who you are. Throw up your set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it tells you what side of town they're from and how they grew up almost. It happens yeah. here. It happens at the club. 
Dude, small. you used to be. Hey, like, <laughs> I'm from a small town in Floresville, bro. So like, yeah. I dated yeah. a girl from Floresville. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. What was her name? <laughs> her name was Veronica. Um, so is that was Victoria. Fuck. And actually, her last name was Hernandez, like mine. Uh, there's probably a few of them um, over there. Yeah, and, she, and but anyway, I, I used to go to Flor. I never knew where Floresville was. And then it's weird because after that, I dated a girl from Kerrville. Mm. Damn, you went I, even further. All the villas. I didn't know. Yeah, the villas. I was I was hitting the villas. I uh, I didn't know. I remember because I had gotten on a dating site a long time ago. This was like 2005, say. No, no, it was like 2008 because I had just bought my blue Harley, and. I joined Plenty of Fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> I haven't fish. heard that because, in a minute. Because a friend of mine wow. told me, dude, get on Plenty of Fish, bro. You're single, Ed. You I had a POF. So, <laughs> you had a POF? Yeah, it's yeah, like the MySpace yeah. of uh, yeah, online like, dating, dude. AOA, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It would do that everywhere when I got on, dude, and there'd be fish <laughs> swimming around. Dial up dating. Yeah, dude. and so... So I would I would fucking get on, on plenty of fish and then I, I went on I went on some wildebeest fucking outings, dude. Yeah. They, some wild hunts. Yeah, dude. I went out and I was like, God dang, dude. Like I went through some meals where I couldn't even eat. I was like, ah, a couple dude, of whales fucking, and tunas on there. I couldn't yeah. get out of there quick enough. But um, <laughs> I remember the natural disaster. This girl, she had she had messaged me and I remember it was an eight three zero number and she lived in Kerrville. And I, I just, for, for another veil, like, fuck, this is far. Wherever the fuck yeah. it is, it's just, I kind of fuck around that far away. I don't got, I'm in San Antonio. I don't need to go to any veil. <laughs> and, and, and then, and she had a real Mexican sounding name, bro. And, and maybe I am kind of wannabe white boy. And I'll, <laughs> <laughs> and I, but I, Damn, motherfucker was right this whole time. Yeah. I know, because I did go to St. Paul's and Central Catholic, too. You know, you went to bus? Central? Yeah, I went to right. Central. So, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That, hey, beef. what's up, white boy? Yeah. 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 So, so, and, and, Here's know, the reason why we called you here. Yeah, and, you know, um, <laughs> so her name was uh, Rosario. And I was like, oh, that's real Mexican. She probably listens to Tejano. I don't listen to Tejano. <laughs> and, you know, and I was just kind of like, yeah, I, don't, I don't feel like going through that Rocky Mountain. Don't you try to dress me up <laughs> in fucking Rocky Mountains and fucking Ropers and shit like that, dude, in some oh, fucking Ropers. Magellan shirt. Shout out Ropers and, you know, and Floresville. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, so, so I just didn't. And I left it alone. And the I, one that got away. Yeah, no, I used to play a lot of poker, a lot of Texas Hold'em. And I was on a bad fucking... Every game I went to, it didn't matter if I started up, by the end of the night, I was losing everything. Damn. So I was just on this bad roll, and I was about to leave the house, and I checked my plenty of fish, and there was a message from her. Hey, and, and she had sent some pictures of her. And I, and I was like, holy shit. And she's wearing a cowboy hat, and she's got this little... Ha- uh, no, she's got a tank top on, and these little Daisy, Daisy Dukes, Dukes and Daisy Duke shorts and some, and some boots. <laughs> And she's laying. Is that your girl outfit too? Yeah. And she's got a ranch in Curvo. She owned a ranch in Curvo on the water. Oh, shit. And she's got, and there's like some logs. They had stacked up this whole thing of logs on her property. And she's laying back on the logs like that on the thing. And I was just like, so. holy shit. I Selling was like, that firewood. Yeah, so, then, then he goes to the map quest. Yeah. Prints her direction. Yeah. So I fucking. <laughs> and she'd send her number. Hey, you know. And, and so I, I called. And I'd say, hey, what's up? And, uh, you know, I sent the number. And. What are you doing? And it was a Friday night, and I was like, I'm about to go play poker. But you know what? I've been on a bad, bad streak, and I need to do something to change my luck and just do something out of the blue different to change my luck, I thought. And she's like, what are you doing? And she's like, why don't you come over? And this is where it's 45 minutes from, it was 45 minutes from my house, mm-hmm. I-10 West, and I was like, ah, fuck it. And I went over there, and I ended up with her for seven years. No Damn, shit. dude. <laughs> she wanted to get married, bro. She... <laughs> We were, like, she wanted to, to, she was like, I'm tired of being just a girlfriend. She was rich. Royal flush. She, uh, she was, she had a lot of money. She had a lot of money. Um, we went on trips, and we went on, she, she, I watched her spend a lot of money. She was your sugar mama? No, no, we were the same age, and, and, and she was a little bit older than me, maybe, like, six months older than me. But, no, but she just had, <laughs> she just had a lot of money, and she, she spent. How's she doing? She, and. She, what bus does she ride? <laughs> yeah, what bus does, I think, the 32. Um, so I just, uh, at some point she was, had a lot of money. She was just used to ordering people around, ah. you know, and she was kind of like, we'd go to restaurants and she was dismissive to the waiters and waiters. Oh, and I, I hate that, that shit. Like that. You know, and don't she like argued, that. she just argued over everything. Bro, I, we, I never sent she food back. Fucking, I watched yeah. her give each of her, buy them each like $25,000 cars one day, Hello, go to a restaurant 
and she'd argue with the people about the 25 cents extra for cheese, uh, really? the 20 cents extra for a to-go cup. She picked her and battles. she would argue that she would pick her the wrong battles. Yeah. And, argue, and then we'd leave and she'd, oh, I got to stop by this furniture place and spend $8,000 on a sofa Jeez. and do stuff like that. And I was, I just don't get it why you keep doing this. And she would bitch about the smallest things. And, and, and I watched her spend over half a million dollars on stuff, dude. And, um, and I don't know, we broke up. And it was a tough one because on the way out she said, Please don't leave me. If you if you let us work this out, I'll buy. Because I, I was talking talking about getting a Jeep and maybe trading in my Harley and getting a newer one. And just and she was like, I'll buy you whatever Jeep you want. Damn. I'll buy you whatever Harley you want to get. Buy yourself a ring, girl. You wanna uh. you want to get whatever car? Um, I mean, well, like uh, she said, you, the Jeep. Get you whatever Jeep you want to uh, remodel your house or you want to go shop for a new house. Let's go do it. Whatever you want to do, just give me another chance, man. And I, I still broke up with her. You couldn't be no bought? shit. Damn, I thought you were about to say another three years. Yeah, <laughs> got no, no one to fold no. them. <laughs> because uh, hey, dude, you know what? It would, it would have been me driving around in my badass Harley and coming home and being miserable. Yeah, driving uh, around in my fucking badass Jeep. And but that's home. why when you're you on the road, guilty. you're happy. Yeah, you got life should. <laughs> Yeah. Life shouldn't always be good. Yeah. She, uh, <laughs> she wanted me to quit comedy too because she didn't really get that. She'd be like, uh, all right, now we're yeah, out. Now we're it, out. It, all it is is taking away from our Line relationship. We were on the road because it was I was newer at comedy. You know, it was when I was you know a couple of years in when we got together, and then uh, so I wasn't getting a lot, doing a lot of big paid gigs or anything yeah. like that at all. And I, but I was going on the road with Carlos and Juan a lot and getting experience and sold out shows on the road. And I'd come back with a couple of hundred bucks extra in my pocket. Fuck yeah. Mm. You know? And, sh- and then I'd hustled uh, all the time and make sure all my bills were paid. I wasn't asking her to pay my bills, but she moved in with me. And she just had money and was watching. I guess she thought I was going to feel guilty because she had all this money. And I should feel like I have more money than the woman does. But I was chasing this comedy yeah. thing. Yeah. And she would always just try to talk me to get a regular job, get a regular job. And that's how I ended Ugh. up with this job. What she did, she yanked me away from my friends yeah. and said, let's move to Austin. She had a ranch in Kerrville. I had the house in San Antonio. And she said, let's go get an apartment in Austin. And I was like, what the fuck? And Raul had just moved over there. And so I was like, well, at least I'll have Raul over there to hang out with. Cause I, and, and I was like, fuck. So all right. So we moved, I moved to Austin with her. I still had my house. So I rented it out to a friend of mine, um, and I moved to Austin, and then I got a job at Harley Davidson. Mm. Oh, it's the one right off 35? Yeah, right there on Onion Creek. Yeah. Uh, so I got a job there, and I was only there for three months. I hated it. Really? Hated it. It was corporate America, bro. Oh. And I got a job there during the Christmas holidays when no one's buying Harleys, yeah. barely. Because you don't need a Harley. You want a Harley. Yeah. yeah. And so you wait till after the holidays are done to go sp- drop your Spend fucking money, money back and, on and, yourself and yeah it's an older dude's fucking reward himself yeah. thing and it was i got there during the holidays and there, everyone was under all this fucking high stress to sell 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 and i i was new and I, and anyway 90 days i lasted they fired me um and then i got a job at this republic tattoo supply it was a start my buddy anthony that owns archangel yeah uh shout out to anthony at archangel well he he uh, calls me up and says, hey, man, I got this friend of mine. He's, they're going to start a tattoo supply company, and they're looking for people to be su- the salesman. Mm. And um, I told them about you and because they, they said they need someone that's got a flexible schedule and probably needs a second gig right now. It's a startup company. And I told him, man, you're probably a good guy for this. And so I interviewed him. It was just an empty warehouse. Is this my plan? I want to be the biggest supplier this side of the United States. And I'm like, whatever, bro. I just need something to do so my chick will quit bitching. <laughs> 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 and uh, so, Crushed yeah, so I fucked hired. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, I they hired me. I was the first dude they hired. Um, they and then I used to drive around Austin doing the supplies, doing supplies, and barely, you know, making a little bit of money was new because I'd walk in and people were like, hey, get out of here, tattoo artists are weird, they don't want to yeah. be there in Austin. And then they uh, hired another guy to do Austin that was from Austin, and they wanted to start doing San Antonio. And since I was from San Antonio, they were like, you can do San Antonio, perfect. So then I started doing San Antonio again, and then I started fucking hitting it. I got in the groove. Boom, boom, boom. You were still living in Austin, but working in San Antonio? Yeah, I was, do- yeah, I was still living in Austin, but going to San- doing San Antonio on the weekends, just oh, Friday shit. and Saturday, and then driving back to Austin. And so, but I had, luckily, I had my house in San Antonio that my friend was renting, so I had a bedroom there for the weekends. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't have to get a hotel, and it saved the company money, and it was a start. So Everyone like, won. Yeah, that, that, that I was this dude that was 
good, you know? And so um, I did that, and then my girl was like, that's not a real job, you know, because I'm still going to work in shorts. I'm hanging around a tattoo shop smoking weed still. Yeah, uh, never she, you know, she, Yeah, yeah, never. And, and I wasn't making all that money, and I'm still doing my comedy because they're giving me the time to do my gig mm -hmm. still. Boom, boom. And then um, it just got to where she wouldn't stop, bro. And then we just, one Christmas time we got into it and I, I had said to myself if she does this one more time I'm out in this my head I had, out. Up, I had set a fucking stake like if she hits it I'm out Damn, and it was dude. like it, I remember and I was gonna go to the open mic in Austin and meet Raul out there and Ali that's when he was dating Ali at the time and she was funny as fuck and he got and um I tell Rosario I was going to go, and she's like, no, I don't want you to go. What are you going to the open mic for? It's a waste of time, and you can stay here with me. And just, I go, I'm just going to go do the open mic for 30 minutes and come back. You know, now, and then, and then, and bitched. And just because she wanted to argue, it was one of her arguments, one of her battles. Mm. <laughs> so I got pissed, and I punted a little mini Christmas tree across the fucking living room. <laughs> oh, shit, it's like a fucking Grinch that ruined <laughs> It went out in style, man. Comedy good, man. Making a statement with that shit. No Jeep's going to fix this. Yeah, yeah, dude. And I felt so bad, bro, because I saw the look on her face when I planted that fucking tree, dude. I saw how hurt she was, dude. And so anyway. I feel like we're at a bar talking. I grabbed, I grabbed all my shit, threw it in my fucking little red Acura, got my little dog Speedy with me, and split to the open mic. Parked right there in front. It was freezing that night, dude. I remember it was fucking one of them weird freezing nights in Austin. I go in there. I see Raul hang out with Raul and Addy. I do the open mic. I go up there and just rant about breaking up and having all my shit in the car. Damn. Too real, too soon. I come out. We're outside and they're smoking cigarettes and shit. And they're fucking. And this girl goes, oh, look, there's a little dog in that car. I go, yeah, that's my car. Oh, that's true, what you just said. You <laughs> I said, yeah. Oh, my God. She said, where are you staying tonight? I said, where are you, girl? And I said, this pretty, this pretty little white girl. She's 27. And I said, um, I don't know, man, because I, I, I wanted to drive back to San Antonio and just stay in my house, mm -hmm. but I had to work in Austin in the morning. Wow. I didn't want to drive all the way yeah, back. Yeah. Okay. So I asked Raul if I could stay at his house, and he says, yeah, do his apartment. He just got that apartment on Otorf. And he goes, yeah, but my, my heat's out, dude. Fuck. And it was freezing, bro. And he had floors just like this. <laughs> just like this on the fucking third floor. In December, you're more than welcome to crash, yeah, yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> and, and the fucking Harry Krishna that he was when he first moved to Austin, him and Ali, <laughs> they did not have not one extra blanket or pillow. <laughs> not one. Not a one. You better go through that shit. Look for bro, towels. They give you towels. Yeah, towels. <laughs> oh, oh no. not an extra towel or nothing, bro. Damn. So I take my clothes that I had grabbed out of my and I put them like lamb, I saw them on the floor and, and I get try to lay on them and put shirts and pants on me. And, <laughs> You're wearing all your I, clothes. And I, and I, have speedy, I have my little chihuahua with me. So I had his kennel. And yeah, I took his little bed, the cushion that was in the bottom of his kennel is my pillow. Oh, you took your dog's <laughs> and had, bed. And had him sleeping on the clothes, like curled up with me to yeah. keep me warm. It was free. To this day, bro, you know, I was in the military. I was in the Navy yeah. on a destroyer out at fucking sea, like uh, to the Philippines and the fucking in Hawaii and through storms and all this shit and free fucked up conditions. Wasn't as bad as that. Night. <laughs> that was worse. Man. I went to prison, bro. For robbing fucking jewelry, so I went to prison, did six years in prison. I went to I went to Beto fucking one. We got but, mad questions about yeah. that. We went to Beto one, dude, which was fucked in one of the worst prisons in the fucking system. The whole time you're locked up, you don't want to go to Beto one, bro. I fucked the last place. You going to Beto one? I was like, God dang it, <laughs> fucking. It was worse. On Ra I would rather go to Beta 1 than sleep on Raul's fucking <laughs> floor like that again. Dude. Yeah, dude. That shit sucked, bro. I'd rather go to that Hilton. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That was brutal, bro. That was a rough night, dude. Because it played also in my head. I was just then I punted the fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and, dude, it was a fucking... Yeah, bro. It wasn't one of my better moments, bro. It was, it was some fucking... Well, that means you're a good human. It bothered you. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess if I was proud of it, but we were bragging. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, did I did our fucking I stood my ground. ground. Yeah. As soon as I On that cold it, ground. Yeah, I was like, there goes Christmas. <laughs> yeah, no. But you no. learn now. <laughs> no, so. I, uh, that's fucking yeah. wild, dude. But the, the good thing about like dating somebody that's like lives far away is that you probably won't run into them in the neighborhood. Right, because like when you break up with somebody, like you don't want them to exist anymore. You know, know? that you want them to like to, not well, not like that, but like you just don't. Like OJ, like OJ, <laughs> he's basically just to like, kill that bitch. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I didn't That's say what I heard. Like, That's what I'm saying. No. I just said like, hey, move away, far away. No, I, I know because my ex and I just broke up. With, now we're from right here, and we're in the same neighborhood. We know we have all the same friends from high school. See, that's oh, tough. Man. That's what's tough. That's we, we tough. Know the same get some high school drama. No, we have the same friend from elementary school, like all of us. And so things happen, like Chris's gigs, we're friends, we all. Yeah. And so, but whatever, it's whatever. I, I, we're adults, you know, because I went through a divorce in prison. I was married when I went to prison. Mm. With the, it, that's a funny <laughs> fucking bit. Yeah, um, I love that. I love that. <laughs> that's a funny fucking bit. Uh, uh, but it, it, you're right. I didn't have to see her because when in prison, I didn't have to see her. I didn't have to run into her out at bars and clubs and hear stories from friends. Hey, I saw your ex yeah. over here at this place with, you know, I, I was in prison. You just didn't hear anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you just didn't hear anything, bro. Your imagination, though, runs wild like a motherfucker. But I, those dudes in there, they would cry every weekend, bro. <laughs> it's so funny you say that. I was just telling Scott the other day, dog, my mom comes up to me. She's like, you paying your child support? I'm like, yeah. Mijo, I lose sleep at night. You won't do well in prison. Oh, damn. You're like, I, mom, it might be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> You I don't think, know I my actually life, think you mom. would do well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your mom, you're right. Or am I you really? Said it might be a blast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're big in hog heaven for dude, sure, d- dude. <laughs> I'm, I remember uh, this this one fucking the super hot got to the fucking. Uh, <laughs> Got, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker, this fucking d- dude had a uh, had a fucking cape super and would fucking. <laughs> Nah, he would fucking sit in the fucking uh, toilet stall. <laughs> He'd sit in the toilet stall, and, and at night, like, if you got up all fucking sleepy and went over there to the urinal to piss, he'd be sitting in the fucking toilet stall. Psst, psst. And he'd be fucking sitting. No. <laughs> yeah. Like that, and be like, oh, fuck. And like, real back. quick, hurry up. I didn't know, like, at first, before I'd gone, when everyone was going to the restroom at night. <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, everyone was going to the restroom at night, dude. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, these money. Right. Then, and then you won, you won 05, <laughs> yeah. 10. Because they had, we were in cubicles, and this, the super hoods would fucking squirm <laughs> through on the floor and like peek his head into the fucking cubicles, like, hey, you better keep crawling down that fucking hallway, motherfucker. Damn. Like, yeah, dude. Um, and then that, and then that one was gone. So you like <laughs> <laughs> wow. So like you would know people and you would see them go up at night. So you would know they were like yeah, undercover but, and shit. But yeah, you know, like when people say they got in there, um, <laughs> it, you almost want to go like, did you really? <laughs> <laughs> like like you, you can't really willing, bro. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, um, because there's so many people that are giving it away. Yeah. What was the quickest amount of we time? Know like, that did, you, did you befriend somebody in that, like, you were like, damn, bro, that was like two weeks or some shit? Like, you know, did you ever have that situation where you saw somebody come in and then they talked about maybe having a wife or a girlfriend and then they turned? Did you ever see someone turn, like, in the quickest Oh, turn into, like, a, a super horse, like, right away? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, like, not that I knew, like, personally, but uh, I'll tell you this. We were in, um, they, uh, we were in, um, in Abilene, in Middleton unit, and they have a, a thing called Broom Squad. It's just busy work. They give everyone brooms and you go sweep the sidewalks. And there's I thought they m- stuck them up their ass. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. They dance around with Broom broomsticks. Squad. Into <laughs> Put it in your prison wallet. Prison wallet squad. Turn out. So, uh, what cheerleading do they do? Yeah, so, so they would just like put put people in pairs. You know, sweep y'all sweep that side of the y'all sweep there, and they just have us for three, four hours for a shift, just sweeping sidewalk, clean sidewalk. Just, just do shit. Just busy work. Yeah, just. Because it was, it was desert. We were in El Paso. It was just fucking a desert. Dirt. No, no, we were in uh, Abilene, I think, at this time. And when we were on Broom Squad, me and this, this black dude from Dallas said, you know, I just, they paired us up. And there was a, it was early in the morning. It was like eight or nine in the morning, and it was November or December. It was cold outside, right? We're in West Texas. It's fucking cold. And 
They have those green prison jackets. Have you seen? And, and the, everyone's in this commissary line. Mm. And there's all these dudes in line in the commissary line. And we're, we're walking up to the line, pushing the broom. And we'd like come up to, kind of close to the people and then turn around and go back sweeping that way. When we're walking up, and I hear one dude telling the other dude, now, 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 do it now, do it now. And I thought someone was going to fight. I thought someone was going to yeah. bust, fucking Just pop shanked. another dude. So I, was going, I told that dude that I was sweeping. I said, look out, dude, something's going to go down. And so the dude picks, pulls his jacket open, and the guy in front of him sticks his hand down his pants and starts jacking him off right there in the fucking commissary line. And I was like, ooh. So I, <laughs> And, and, and so I was like, so we just fucking. <laughs> uh, uh, I was like, damn it. Like, damn, I got the wrong partner today. <laughs> Note to self be careful with handy people in the commissary line. So, so me, me and that dude, me and that black dude, we go off sweeping, and then he's like, he goes, bro, he goes, did you see that? He goes, that motherfucker had his hand in his pants. I go, yeah, that motherfucker was jerking him off. He goes, dude, he goes, I know that dude. He goes, that guy, he goes, uh, uh, I know that dude from the world. He goes, he's married and has two kids, bro. He goes, he's only got a three-year sentence. Oh, damn. He said, bro, he, he goes, he wasn't even in the county waiting. He was free and went to trial and got sentenced. And he's, bro, he wasn't even, hasn't even been locked up that long. I said, bro, that dude was gay before he got <laughs> Yeah, that dude. Yeah, that he just got quite the appetite. Yeah, he just got there and said, hey. Uh, mm. You did six years? I did six. Dude, my son's in there right now, bro. Oh. My son's in there doing a four-year sentence right now. Um, uh, it's not aggravated like mine was. I was robbing jewelry stores. Yeah. Right? yeah but my son, was he's been doing drugs and stealing and just doing that petty bullshit. Yeah. But this last one, he got caught with a gun, dude. He got caught felon, and he's already been to Dominguez twice. Damn. So he's a felon with a gun. Uh huh. And um, they only gave him four years. He'll, he better hope that because he can get out, and the feds hit him and still charge him with the federal charge of possession of felon in possession of a gun. If Damn. He wanted to, I'm sure. But I don't know. Um, he's in there. I hope he learned his fucking lesson, man. He, you know, it took me. I guess you know that time. It's good that I did that because if I would have gone, like, cause it's like this. Like the first year you get there. You think you're getting out. You got this hope. You're getting. You see people getting out with the same amount of time as you, and getting out. So you have this hope. Yeah. And so you're like, yeah, man, I can get out. So the first year, and you still, you're still talking to these knuckleheads about what you're gonna do when you get out. Bro. Yeah. And this dude's doing that, and he's got this hook up here, and then you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, I'm gonna get out, and then, yeah, cause so I got a one year set off. That means I'll see you in a year. Mm. So fuck. So a year later. I go see parole again. I'm like, yeah, and I'm still talking to dudes year two. Yeah, we're going to do this when we get out to you. Because you're going to make parole this time, bro. I know you're going to go see, boom, they give me a two year set off. Bam, see you in two years. Damn. So that means I'll have four oh, years. Oh, so the whole, like, you didn't know that you were going to do six to begin no, with. No, no. So, yeah, you didn't do no six time. on I six. I saw parole four times during this time. Oh, oh man. So they, oh, that, that's a mind fuck, dude. It is like, a they, mind keep, fuck. they keep you waiting, not knowing. Okay, damn, dude. It's like, that Shawshank, is, is it like Shawshank? That's funny, the Shawshank. Um, that's a dungeon, bro. That's an old school fucking prison. That, but that's how the Walls Unit is in Huntsville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there used to be Death Row, because I think they moved Death Row somewhere else to Ellis Unit or something. But uh, the Shawshank, that's, it's, that's a different state. It's like that. That's how some Texas prisons are. It's like that dungeon, old yeah. school. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that real feeling of no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about literally like the the parole hearing, no, uh, kind like well, the questions they ask, like that well, kind of shit. But when, when you see parole in Texas, you only see one person. A parole, okay, it's not a, a panel. Parole, it's not a panel of them voting right there and stamping a thing. Right yeah, there. what they do, you just see a parole counselor, and he asks you, "Do you have anything you've been doing? Are you in school? Uh, do, do, are we we have a record of your disciplinary cases. Are you, you know, or you've stayed out of trouble. Yeah. Um, are you going to church? Do you have any certificates from church or anything? Do you have any letters from the outside that you've been sent that you know they vouch for you of people, yeah. you know, Damn. and saying that, that we could that you want to submit to your parole? You give it to them. Okay, we'll give it to them uh, to the board, and then there's apparently there's a board somewhere that yeah. gets it, and they vote. But you know, you don't see the vote right in front of you. Damn. It takes like um, like four to six weeks to get an answer. Damn, dude, that's a mind so you sit fuck. there, and then so, it's still months <clears throat> after you get out. What is it still months after you get out? What do you mean? Months like, all right, get? so it's October. They're like, all right, you're gonna be released. Oh, it June be. next year. Okay, well that's the funny. Okay, so uh, I saw parole, then they denied me a year. Then I saw him again, and they denied me two years. 
So then I went to see him again. They denied me a year. I went to see him again. And all those times I went in, okay, like the first time I was like, so, and I you had. You went in thinking like, this is it, I'm out. I, yeah, and I, I had, a, I was going to church and going to these AA meetings and I had completed this program. Of doing this all the right things. Yeah. Doing all this shit. I hadn't gotten any cases. I'm fucking staying out of trouble. I'm just working out, no keeping my mouth shut, fucking doing my time, dude, like, like a veteran should, dude, just like doing it. Go see him, and, and I tell the parole officer, guy, well, so what's it look like? And he goes, well, it's probably 50 50. And I'm like, fuck yeah, 50 50. And I was like, yeah, yes or no, motherfucker. Like, they're, they're, yeah. everyone's yeah. yes or no. Everyone's 50 50. Everybody's 50 50. That's what we came so, in knowing. Yeah, and so I, I was just like, ah. so I was like, fuck. So I see him, and nothing. So I, the second time, I'm like, going, hey man, I got this, I got that, and this. And they were like, how's it, how's it look? He said, about 50 50, man. And I was like, at first, I was still not getting the 50 50. Like, yeah. yeah. And then when he said 50 50 again, I said, okay. And then, bam, they hit me with the two-year set-off. So then the third time, I went a little bit fucking like, oh. sour. But I thought for sure, no one was like, they're not giving you a one-year set-off, then a two-year set-off, and not giving you parole the next time. They've got to let you go. They wouldn't. So I go in there this third time, like, oh, and I did some more things, and boom, one-year set-off. So I was like, fuck you. So the, the fourth time I went in, I went with nothing. I think for now I'm already like almost five like, years into it. a seven-year yeah. sentence. So I just, I just went, they were like, you got anything? Nope. They're like, yeah, you've done anything? Uh uh. You know, fucking. I said, hey, let me ask you one. How's it look? I said, then by 50, now, 50. I was like, let, go, let me guess 50 50. And he goes, yeah, 50 50. And I was like, whatever. And I split and I made parole. Damn, and dude. Parole. Wow. With that old go, go but, fuck yourself attitude. They're like, yeah. they told me. <laughs> you got spunk. <laughs> they told me I made parole in January of 2000 that I was going home in May of 2001. Bitch. Oh, what? Uh, that's that's another the, year set year, off. Yeah, year what the fuck? Quarter, yeah, dude. dude. Yeah. That's fuck. So that just left me going, oh, fuck. I could be doing gay shit so, in here. <laughs> yeah, they were just yeah, like. Yeah, it's five years. Like, How many like, dicks is that? Like, so, <laughs> so if I if if I stay out of trouble now, I go home. But if I fuck up, I'm not. they're taking it away from me. So are they dangling? Now it's a that's dangling damn, the that's, stick. But so this whole time. When you're getting the uh, like the offsets and like, was there ever a set point offs. in time set off? Sorry, oh, dyslexic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a rapper. So yeah. <laughs> Whenever you get in the set offs, was there ever a point in time where you were just like, "Fuck it, bro, I'm just gonna be in here forever," or were you always having that hope of like, hey, "All right, I'm gonna get the fuck out one day." Like, I'm gonna oh, get I the know fuck I was out because I only had a seven. Yeah, I was hoping oh, okay. I wasn't doing the whole seven. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's what I was confused about earlier. So I had a seven-year seven, sentence. But you did six I, on a seven. Because, dude, um, one time, um, what happened? They beat the fuck out of this dude. I remember we were playing dominoes. Me and this buddy of mine were playing dominoes with these two black dudes from Houston and a buddy of mine from San Antonio from the west side, Richie. It's weird because that dude just fucking went to that dispensary I hang out at and fucking saw my podcast on the TV and was like, I know that dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah. like, I was locked up and he just got my number. Just... What's up, sucker? Yeah, and so... Go subscribe, like, share. <laughs> uh, so, Richie, um, we were playing dominoes and all of a sudden, bam, the door opens to the day room in the back room and these two dudes are swinging trash can lids at each other. Oh, sure. But one dude's already cut, dude. He's been hit. This... <laughs> Hardcore match? Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. And That's they're fucking... Color. Bam, swinging his fucking trash can like gladiators and shit. Working the shooting. And we're playing dominoes. We're gambling, though. And I was like, ah, look at these fucking knuckleheads, bro. And so, and it was some gang shit that was going on. So they came in, clink, 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 clink. And they fucking went through. They got close to us for a minute. I go, hey, look out, man. They were they're, they're getting close. And so, yeah, they, they were talking Just like that. And so, so. I got what you said now. <laughs> So then they, we moved over and they went by like that. Ah, oh, thank you. And they went like that. <laughs> and, like they, eh. and then they went, they went off over there. And then so we sat back down. We were like, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up and finish this game because we're gonna go. We're gonna, they're gonna lock us down. Someone's gonna win. Her. Yeah. So, so we got three runs on yeah, this bitch. We, we finished and then, um, I, I, however they stopped, but the dude that was bleeding all over, he ran to the shower. And he, he smeared blood on the edge of the wall and then went and got in the shower, turned it on. Hey, called the uh, told him, hey, man, go call the guards, man. Tell him I just slipped right here and hit my head. Wow. So, so the guard comes over and he's like, hey, man, I, 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 am I bleeding? I think I see I, I all this shit, you know. So they, oh, yeah, yeah, look right here. You must hit your head right here, you know. So they, they sent him to the infirmary. And this was like, like 7 in the evening. And then we rack up at 1030. 
Uh, we didn't even get through the night. But it was like probably four in the morning. All of a sudden, bam, 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 bam. All the lights come on. Boom, lockdown status. No movement at all. You know, lockdown status. All these guards coming. Like, bitch, we, were all, we were asleep. We were, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> we were prepping. Yeah, hey, now nah, you couldn't go to the fucking shower and see super horts and nothing, dude. Like, <laughs> they told you, bro. You're always fucking it up for everybody. <laughs> and so super horts had to get out of the fucking stall. Yeah. And so we're... <laughs> Well, uh, uh, one last one for the room. Yeah, come on, somebody, anybody, anybody. So, just to get you over. Here. Yeah, so uh, uh, to get you through the lockdown. <laughs> so, so um, we're we're locked down, and then I remember they took everyone from San Antonio, bro. Everyone from San Antonio, they fucking had us all. You, Hernandez, da, 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 everyone out there. Uh, we're, when I got up there, I was like, oh, dude, it's all the homeboys, dude. They have all of us. They're like, fuck. And then so when they called me in, the sergeant was like. So what's up, Hernandez? You want to tell me what happened out there? I said, I don't know. He said, what do you mean you don't know? Come on, man. I, we know you, dude. You know. And I was like, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck This fucking are. domino game yeah, was intense. Yeah, no, I was like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't see anything. I said, I heard a dude fell in the shower and cut his head, and now we're fucking locked down. I don't know. And he was like, oh, really? That's what you heard? Someone fell in the shower? He goes, he goes uh, I heard you made parole. Oh, oh <laughs> no. And I said, yeah, yeah. And he goes, man, that'd be crazy if you lost your parole. And I go, yeah, that would be, but I'm not going to do anything to lose it. And he goes, you never, you never know. I go, you know, it's crazy. Even if I did, though, a year later, my whole sentence is done and I'd go home anyway. Yeah. And he goes, check me. He goes, not if you got a free will charge. A what? A free will charge. Free will charge? A free world. Free world charge. Like, a like they can bring like some bullshit? If you got caught with a knife or you assault someone, that's a charge until you get in the free world. Yeah. Right? Not just a prison violation thing. Not no, a, it's not 30 days. No, there's something that they could charge you with a new charge yeah. where you, they can. Damn, that's yeah. sneaky, dog. Like, like they could say they found a knife in my cell. They could say they found drugs. Uh, and when it's in, when yeah. it's in your cell in, in a prison, that's, that's, a, yours. that's yeah. a different, no, that's a different charge. Jesus. That's in a correctional facility. So it's. Uh, the ante's up. Yeah. So you can lose your. That's you might it's get not two more years. Personally, like, like anyone that gets yeah. caught with, I think if you get caught with shank in prison, you get a, like extra two year sentence added to your sentence, and it's added to it the end of your sentence. So, <clears throat> so that he it's said not that. Like concurrent. And I was like, I go, Sarge. I was like, Sarge, no, because you're picking it up later. And I go, I go, Sarge, man. I said, man, I, I go, you got your snitches, man. You got your snitches. I don't even, you know, what the fuck are you That's asking your card me? to play. Yeah. I said, you've got me. Here, fucking up early in the morning to fucking, you know, I'm not, I gotta do my time, bro. Uh, you've got your snitches. We all know who your snitches are. They already told you, and now you're just trying to get confirm it with everyone else. That's what I go, I mean, he goes, Well, you like your job in maintenance, huh? And I go, eh, It's whatever. It all pays the same, dude. Because he, he said it sucks to be in the fields again. And I go, Yeah, it would, but it all pays the same. Because you don't get paid in prison, mm -hmm. in Texas prison. I go, yeah, whatever. And next thing you know, I was out of my fucking job. I was in the fields. That was his fuck you. Yeah, yeah. that was his fuck you. And everyone, yeah. yeah, and they rolled all the dudes from San Antonio. Like, everyone got their fucking jobs taken from them and all this shit, dude. <laughs> See, See? Man, that, that shit would work on me, man. Like, no, I'll tell you everything, dog. Yeah. I'll fucking tell you everything, hey, dog. Man, get, it's Rocket Dog Man and Shooter, man. I don't know that bitch <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, calm down, bro. Nah, man, I, I would not do well, man. I'd Dog, wait. Okay, wait, so wait, have y'all wait. ever been? Wait, hold on. Oh. So, <laughs> me and Edward's the only one done hard time in this room. You did time? No, I, I spent. No, the, I, he spent, said no. <laughs> I spent the night in holding three on three separate occasions. Oh. Have, oh. have you? <laughs> Whoa! Have you all? Have what was your set off like? Have y'all ever, like, <laughs> <got pinched>? <laughs> ever like spent I the went night to juvie. in jail? That doesn't count. I've been good since juvie. They'll be like, Jackie, you only got twenty four hours. Like, let me do my shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? <laughs> let me I, live, bro. I, I um, when I get around people and they say like, how many how many times you've been arrested? When I say how many times I've been arrested around my friends, um, I didn't I ain't done shit. Yeah. But when I get around like normal people, uh, they go. Fuck. I start seeing them go like, what, what, what? Yeah, like, dude, it's wild to me. But it isn't that many. Like, okay, let me, let me try to name them. <laughs> <laughs> That's how many, because I, I, I could try to name them. Um, my very first time, I was 18 years old. I got arrested in the parking lot of Jefferson High School while my parents were watching. What? My friend, we were day drinking. We were 18. We just started drinking Budweiser. Hell my yeah. friend had a car, and we drove through the parking lot to pick up someone after school, and the school cop saw us. 
and we were drinking in the car, driving, and they pulled us over in the parking lot and arrested us for minor possession of alcohol. Damn, and, I got one of those. And I went to the Wacken Hut. That was when the, this new jail wasn't even built yet. Uh, this was 87. Was, I just graduated. And so I, um, I went to jail that time. That was my very first time. Wacking Hut sounds nice, though. Yeah, not Wacking Hut. Wacking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I got arrested... Yeah, I understand you, Edward. These two guys don't. I remember yeah. the first time I was cuffed. Uh, I was like, oh, I've been cuffed. What was his name? <laughs> I'm sure he does, too. <laughs> I've been detained. That's as hardcore as I get. I was like detained. 15 or 16. We were on the bus, and we were throwing like jawbreakers at the fucking uh, bus driver. That, yeah. That's dangerous, <laughs> Bitch bro. pulls over, calls the cops. breaking jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch pulls over, calls the cops. I'm handcuffed in the back of the seat. The bus stays there until my parents come and take me out of the car. Yeah. My mom starts talking shit to the cop like, you can't fucking put him in handcuffs. You don't know if he did it. Uh, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her that. I got, no, my mommy wasn't there yelling for me. <laughs> I, got I got minor in possession of tobacco. Tobacco. Tobacco? Yeah. It was Tobacky a black and mild. A black and mild. That's worse, dude. That was at like 14. You M word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, to see, I, I got a, I've been, oh, dude, one time. One time we broke into a liquor store. Nice. And we did it right before spring break so that we could take all this liquor to the coast and oh, fucking yeah. sell some and make <laughs> money and just party. Dude, we got pulled over. We did it over by De Zavala. And then we got pulled over by the Jeff neighborhood where we lived. And did you know there's serial numbers on liquor bottles? The that, TABC. Yeah, yeah, dude. And they oh. just went and called it right in and bam. Yeah, you got to peel them off. <laughs> one of my buddies was on parole. Oh. And he just goes. And already, like, he was, we were, I was 19. And my buddy was like, bro, I'm on parole, bro. Like, he went to prison, like, when he was 17. So he was like, dude, if, if I just get arrested, I'm going back. They're going to revoke me. And, um. They found the liquor, and we were all minors, and they arrested us all. And he signed a statement saying that uh, it was all him? that it was him, and that we didn't know that we had just picked him up with it. And oh, either way, wow. yeah, because yeah. he was going. He got thirteen years for that, dude. Thirteen what years? The fuck. Yeah, well, got, it's a breaking and entering. Whatever. He got thirteen years. I've seen people get five years for it, but he got thirteen anyway. That's wild. Yeah, that's my boy Richard, dude. Uh, rest in peace, bro. He just we just buried him about a month ago, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. He died from the COVID vaccination, bro. Fuck. No way. He got the COVID. He did 28 years in prison, bro. All together. He was in and out, dude. One of my boys, dude. And uh, he t got the COVID vaccination this last time he got out, and it paralyzed him, dude. And then he just finally died. He'd he been fucking fighting this thing for like two, little over two years. And it finally Shit. killed him, dude. Wow. Crazy, dude. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I, I, I yeah. See. I've, I've done some wild shit. But, but, uh, I wasn't as bad as some of my friends, though. Well, I mean, but we did do like <laughs> that, running that, in jewelry I stores. I wasn't as bad. <laughs> but running you in jewelry for six stores, years, dude. Running in jewelry stores and fucking um, laying everyone down and 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 uh, and clearing cleaning out the whole store was. Uh, How much total was it? What was your opening line? <laughs> Everybody get down. What was like? Well, this is how line? it would oh, go. Hold on, I gotta pee first. <laughs> 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 Let uh, me get this out the way. <laughs> um, Sports. Let's talk about sports. Um, no, well, we would. There was a. They recruited me in. How do you? Yeah, I was gonna say. How does one get into that? You reply to an ad or something. Is yeah. It like a job um, interview. Craigslist. Craigslist. Uh, that movie Heat. Heat had come out. and We all wanted to try to star in it. And for real, no, Heat hadn't even come out yet. We were doing this before the movie Heat. Yeah, man. Y'all inspired Heat. Yeah. Um, I remember those dudes did that thing in L.A. Do you remember that big uh, bank robbery in L.A. where they had that shootout with the cops? Mm -mm. No. You've never seen that? Was that based oh, off wow, you? Oh, dude. No, that we based ours off of them, maybe. Um, I don't know when who did what. If we did ours first today. Luckily, I mean, there was no shooting in ours. You were in a firefight? That's what I'm saying. No, but these, <laughs> yeah, there was these dudes. firefight scene in Heat. Is a no, because I was in prison when they did it. We did ours first. Because these dudes. You're like, heck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they robbed a bank. But they they were all wearing armor mm -hmm. and all this stuff, and they were like um, Armenian or Ukrainian. They were some uh, the communist ones. country. Yeah, the bad ones. The um, and uh, they went in with armor protection and all this stuff, and then but getting out of there, they ended up 
LAPD pulling up and them getting out with assault rifles and just. Have you ever seen that? The Hollywood shooting? Yeah, the yeah. Hollywood shootout. Fuck the, yeah, I the see Hollywood bank robbery. That's big. Yeah. I see that a lot, dude. And that, that's what the movie Heat was kind of inspired by, I think. I give that once a or year they play, got dude. inspired by Heat. I watch it once a year. Yeah, dude, hey, at least. But when we went in there, um, what, the dudes were dined up. We would go, we'd steal a car, park the stolen car somewhere. Uh, I mean, no, we'd go park the getaway car somewhere and go in the stolen car. And Freddie, who had been doing them, he's the one, he was like, hey, man, um, and I know him from high school. That's how I got out of the Navy and ran into him and my buddy Mark, and they were robbing jewelry stores. And they were like, we need some help for this, bro, this, this thing we're doing. They didn't want to tell me what exactly. And as I said, I was in. And so I didn't say I was in for like a month. I was like, no, bro, I ain't trying to just do, be crazy again, dude. And, and then I was, they said, uh, come on, man. And the money started running out. And I said, all right, dude, what are you doing? And they said, okay. And, we're knocking off jewelry stores. And I was like, we're like in West Texas. You know, we go get in, find, we scout them out, go in, hit them, get out of there. They don't even know who hit them we're back in San Antonio. And so we just, we went and stole a car from the movies and parked the fucking getaway car and then went over there. And Freddie goes, hey, give me, I'm going to go in, say I want to see the wedding sets. Give me about two minutes. And then you and Mark walk in. Uh, I'm going to, pull out my Mac 11, I'm going to cock it one time, and when I cock it, he goes, they're going to fucking listen to everything I say. He said, so uh, you just watch the door, and he said, let me just tell you something, because I had a 357. He said, don't point it at anyone, because they will they might freak out and think that you're going to shoot them, and you're going to be in a fight for that gun. Don't. Oh, wow. Yeah. He said, don't, don't do that, dude. And so... And then you'll have to shoot him. He was. I was like, "What the fuck?" So, Jesus. Wow. so I was like, "Okay, whatever." And then, uh, so he goes in. It's three o'clock on a Friday afternoon, dude, Midland, Texas. And he goes. So we're out by the car. Mark's crazy. Mark's on parole. Mark's go. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Mark's looking at me. We're standing. My friend Anthony's driving getaway, and Mark's. We're standing outside the car, and I've got this three fifty seven in my shorts in my, in my pants and Mark's going are you ready you want me to take the gun bro if you're scared I'll take the gun bro I'll take the gun let one of the motherfuckers say some shit man I'm like, no, 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 you don't need the gun bro. found her wild card yeah dude and so he's like yeah man fuck ah, dude, I, see you fucking sweating, dude. Uh, dude, I felt just like I feel before I go on stage bro that Damn, I've heard about that yeah I throw up I've I heard about that I didn't throw up but I felt the exact same way that same Ugh, dude just fucking that adrenaline rush and then and then also it was about two minutes he was like you ready let's go let's go fucking and it was all glass in the front of this place and so we walked in and it was two men and a lady in there behind and he had already had the wedding sets open and was looking at him and we walked right in the door and stopped right there and then they said can we help you i said no uh, <clears throat> we're just gonna be looking and then we just stood at the door and we just kind of were talking to like what, what do we do you know we just wait or what because freddie was still looking at the wedding sets Oh, he hasn't, like, pulled his gun yeah, out. he had pulled his gun out, and then I like this one, but this one's a little like yeah, cool. I'm more of a silver guy. And then the, <laughs> the lady goes over to one of the dudes and whispers to him, and he goes, "Oh!" And he turns around. There was a hallway going to the back, and he turns around, starts kind of trotting towards the back, and Freddie goes, "Sir, Freddie's right there." She knew what was up. He pulled the gun out and cocked it once. Freddie's right there. This is a robbery. And I just remember that lady going, "Oh my god!" And so stop right there. Put your hands up. Back up. And so. He backed up, and then he laid him down, and then Mark took off running to the back office. I took out my gun and just kept it at my side and just kept looking out the door, and I just kept trying to watch their hands. Someone's going to hit a button. They always hit a button in the movies. Yeah. 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 So I was just like, watch their hands, dude. They're gonna, someone's going to push a button somehow, somewhere. Where I don't know where it is, but watch their hands. And so Mark runs to the back, and he's back there like... like we're here. You could hear him shuffling through drawers and opening, and Freddie's like, hey, man, hurry up. Hey, Hey, man, hurry up. And he goes, Mark, hurry up. And Mark comes walking back off fucking the Mark crazy ass. He was like, what'd you say, Freddie? What'd you say? What'd you say? And Freddie, That's like a movie, dude. Yeah, and Freddie's like, <laughs> and, and, and Freddie, hey, Scott. And, yeah, and Freddie's got the gun, his Mac 11. He's just like, ma'am, ma'am, get up, get the keys, go open that Rolex case. And he had already closed the, the wedding set and stuck it under his arm, that case. And he was like, um, go open up. That Rolex case, and she gets the keys, and she opens up the Rolex case, and Mark had a bag already, so he scooped everything in, and I just kept saying, watch your hands, because when they were opening these cases, uh, and then I get up and open up the Bertolucci case, and then 
open up that one and then i go open up the paddock philippe case and open up that Damn. one and now lay back down and <clears throat> all right man he said i know where all of y'all live i followed all of y'all i've been doing this for a long time and blah 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 and he better not be, give a description and I opened up the door and they fucking ran out. And I said, "Well, y'all have a nice day." And fucking, we jumped. No out. way, dude! dude. You tagged this. Yeah, said, no, you did a walk off. Just calm, we just calmly walked out and said, "Well, y'all have a nice day." And we went, got in the car, drive, and then they start yelling at Freddie. I mean, at Anthony, drive, drive, and we're fucking flown. And, and I'm like, "Shut up, dude!" Because Anthony's about to wreck. He was my friend, and I we had recruited. And he was freaking the fuck out. And we drove out, and then we we had to cross the street. And I mean, we stopped at the street, and it was like a street like Military Drive that's always busy. Oh. And there was no cars. There was just break in the fucking traffic. And whoo, we went right across the street to the Vaughn's grocery store, and that's where the getaway car was. And we just all jumped out of the fucking car, jumped right into it. There was a Beamer, a badass Beamer. We jumped in there. We didn't even turn that car off. We just jumped <laughs> in with everything and fucking whoo, we took off. On and, and we had to drive right back in front of the jewelry store. And we drove right in front of it. It was surrounded, dude. There was cops in a half oh, circle with shit. their guns drawn. Oh, we missed. So how, how bad did you beat them by? Fuck. 30 seconds. Fuck. <laughs> oh, dude. 30 seconds. And we Jesus. drove by there. Got it. We're just like, oh, no, no, <laughs> what no, happened? No, no. <laughs> we just Show fucking up. drove off and they had it surrounded and we fucking dropped on the way back to San Antonio. Damn. So you were talking about like no descriptions. Y'all weren't wearing like masks or anything or? I had long hair. I was a skater. I've been skating my whole life. I had long hair like to about right here. It's sunglasses on, mm. long sleeve shirt. We had um, pants and shoes, boots, and we had put super glue on our hands so we had like an invisible thing that, so it wasn't even fingerprints. Finger yeah. So we weren't walking in with gloves, and someone might have seen guys yeah. walking in with gloves. That was horrible, dude. That shit was horrible to get off. Um, but we did that. So that was the score. Was the like the jewelry itself? There wasn't like a safe full of cash or something that y'all no, looked for. It was, it was the just jewelry. the jewelry itself. It was. We had uh, this fence from uh, Mexico. It was, that was like you get us this, and yeah. we'll, we'll give you this much and that. So um, we went and got it. They freaked out though when we showed up. They knew it was hot. Yeah, obviously. No, they knew it was hot. They yeah. said you get it and we'll buy it. We're hot or not, they're going to go to Mexico with it. But when we showed up with it, they went, "Oh shit, all the burger." <laughs> and they were just like so I remember when dude and then we we hit them so we got to get a Midlands what six seven hour fucking drive back then mm. the speed limit wasn't 80 like it is now yeah West Texas so so we're fucking driving six hours with the trunk full of so we we still we're in, in my boy's Beamer I'm driving uh, we stop we put all the stuff in the, under the spare tire and the guns and everything under there uh. and we're fucking driving the speed limit back it's nothing back from midland right yeah and fucking we're driving and all of a sudden boom, there's this big ass fucking ford f950 <laughs> fucking <laughs> right next to us and all these big country white boys in the fucking home and they're like, boom, acting like they're gonna hit us dude and we're in this badass beamer dude and jeez what the fuck dude and hey and they're yelling at us wrote on the windows and like, what the, what's up and they're like what's up and they're with no and overalls fucking big old white boys and the dude's like pull over Pull over. I bet you one of us white boys will whoop all you wetbacks. Damn. What? Yeah, and I would have bet money on them white boys. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we weren't even wetbacks. And uh, <laughs> and so, she had guns in the trunk. Yeah, so but then you couldn't reach them while we were driving. Because uh, in the Beamer in the back seat, in the middle, you has that flip down because yeah. Mark was trying to yeah. get him. The kid, luckily, whatever the fuck. You could get luck through the trunk from the back seat. Yes, yeah. but luck he could reach in there, but luckily he couldn't get the seat, uh, get the thing up and reach under the spare tire, mm. luckily, because he Mark was crazy. So yeah. Mark's trying to get the gun out, one of them at least. And Well, because these dudes are fucking with us, fucking with us when one of them sticks a deer rifle out the back window. Whoa! At us. That's when people had those gun racks. Back yeah, then. this is yeah. '91, dude. Back when you could like yeah. bring it to school and yeah, nobody questioned yeah, anything. And exactly, yeah. dude. Yeah. So the dude points a deer rifle at the out the back window at us, and oh, oh shit! Fuck and then I just hit it. Bah! It's a standard badass fucking mm. red, this red fucking low profile beamer, and I hit it. Bah! And I'm doing like a hundred for like twenty minutes. Jeez, dude! I'm just fucking losing them, dude. I'm just, I just fly, and then they're like. Pull over and let's get the guns and let's wait on the side of the road and spray them when they come by. Shit. And I'm like, I'm like, what movie do you think this is, bro? Like, we, we got a trunk full of shit. Don't forget what else we, we did. Yeah, we, yeah, we got to <laughs> get the fuck out of here. And they were like, nah, let's fucking kill him. Mark wanted to kill him and kill him. I was like, no, look, look, we're going to stop at a, we'll stop. 
uh, at a gas station and get gas, we'll get the guns out. If they point the fucking gun at us again, then we'll have to do something. We're not fucking just waiting on the side of the fucking road and yeah, shooting at these motherfuckers. So we went. Luckily, we stopped in the town and got gas, and we saw them drive through the fucking town and go, that truck, and they never fucked us. So fuck. So like, like, okay, so just think about that. And there was probably like at least four guys in this truck. So it, Freddie and, and Anthony were scared of Mark. Mark was my friend and was a, a couple of years younger than me. But Mark had just gotten out of prison. He was on parole and he was fucking crazy. And they were intimidated by him. So when he said, let's stop, get the guns out and shoot him, if I wasn't there to say no, they would have been, been like, happens. okay, they would have been okay. So that, just say one, maybe two people would have been killed in that fucking spraying this truck driving by. Maybe. Just at least hope. Okay, just say, just say one. So then this goes on. We get back. We go to this dude. We, I remember this dude gave us like $10,000 for three watches right when we got back. And we were like, what? We split up 3300 each, went to eat, left a $100 bill on the table. <clears throat> and then we split up the jewelry. We hadn't even split up the jewelry yet. So then we split up the jewelry. And then I remember a few weeks later, I mean, uh, Freddie says, hey, hey, man, they're, he comes, hey, man, they're looking for us. Well, he tells me, hey, man, let's go for a ride. I bought this Scout International. I had it all lifted, and it was all badass. And he was like, hey, man, I like your Scout. I haven't gone for cruising it, but let's go for a ride, dude. And I was like, all right. And he goes, oh, hold on, man. Let me get something from my car. And he gets in his car, and he gets his Mac 11. I see, but he did it. I saw him do it like a sneaky and stuck it in his pants. And I was like, hold on, man. I got to take a piss. And I had a 357. I went and got my 357. Damn. And was there ever a thought that you're like, yeah, he's going to cut thought. loose ends? Yeah. So Fuck, he was acting weird. So, oh. so I got my 357. So fucking, hey, let's go for a cruise. So we go for a cruise, and like we're talking. He goes, man, I got something I, I need to tell you, bro. And he goes, well, what is it? He goes, well, I don't know if I should tell you why you're driving, bro. And I was like, well, tell me, Freddie. No, I don't know. Hey, man, go here. Go here. Dog. Hey, let's go oh. through some trails. Let's go through some trails. All right. So, trails? Because I'm in this, my scout yeah. is lifting. And it's okay. Yeah, man, uh. you never take me to nah, bro. And so, and he's a little dude. I, I could fuck him up. I know there's no doubt I could fuck him up, but, but I'm, I'm bullet, wondering. Like, bullet. Yeah, yeah, I know what we're doing here, you know? And then he's like, yeah, bro. Just stop here, I need to talk to you, bro. He's like, bro, they know, dude. They know, man. They fucking know. Who's what do you mean? They know. Like, mad detectives went to my girlfriend's house, her parents' house, looking for us, dude. They're looking for all of us, dude. They have they have pictures of us and everything and all this shit. And I'm like, nah, you know what? Fuck this, man. I fucking get out of there. Boom, go back to the apartment, bro. Call Mark. This was, this was before cell phones. Yeah. This is in the pager days. I page Mark. Mark, what's up? I go, bro, you need to get over here, dude. We need to fucking... Freddie's saying this and that. And he's like, what? And so... We were go, they really looking for you? They were looking for him. Looking for mm. him? What happened was they got the license plate to his BMW. His, li- his BMW was, was, was registered to his girlfriend who lived with her parents. So they went to her parents' house with sketches of us. And when they showed her the four sketches, her parents said, I don't know who these guys are, but this one looks like my daughter's boyfriend. Fuck! And Whoa. they started looking for him, and she, they gave him the information, and so they started looking for him. Judas. And, um, and so they were looking for him, because we hired a lawyer, and we found out, and so Mark's like, bro, he's going to snitch. That hair Yeah. So Mark's on parole, and Mark's like, he's going <laughs> to snitch, bro. He's going to fucking snitch. We got to kill him, bro. We got, oh we got to take him my out. God. Mark's like, we got to take him out, bro. We're going to do ag time, bro. This is aggravated. He had a Mac 11, bro. We're fucked. Uh, We're fucked. I'm like, what's that? You didn't t- give me this conversation, this talk before we did the yeah. robbery. You said, let's just go. You didn't tell us, tell me about the ag time shit yeah. Yeah, and all this. Dude. And so he's like, nah, dude, we're fucked. We got we to gotta kill him. And I'm like, bro, I, I don't. <laughs> dude, and then in the meantime, I've got jewelry out on the streets. Mark had hooked me up with some dude that owned like car lots and pawn shops and all this. It was kind of a crooked dude that moved a lot of shit. People that had a lot things. of money, dealt with a lot of cash and crooked shit. So he took like 30 something thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Uh, and then from and was supposed to sell, sell it for me and I never met him I only talked to him on the phone through Mark and then he then that dude calls me and says yeah bro uh, the cops came and raided my pawn shop and, but before that I'd said hey man they're looking for Freddy so you don't have that shit in your pawn shop or any place out in public where it could be seen like just like that oh bro this ain't my first rodeo dude and it was. And he tells me all this shit and I said okay cool whatever bro I just wanted to be sure you know what's going on alright so then, and then all of a sudden, oh man, they, they raided my pawn shop and took the fucking jewelry. And I said, oh really? That's crazy. They took it all. Yeah, they took it all. I go, that's badass, dude. Luckily, it's not your first rodeo. So yeah. you know what's going to happen and you still have to pay. So when do I get my money? Oh, and, oh and he was God. like, he was like, no, what do you mean, dude? I mean, I told you they took it. And I go, no, 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 no. Remember the whole, it's not my first rodeo talk? 
Remember I let you know what was going on and you told me that shit? Nah, man, well, how do I know that you didn't send them to me? And he starts saying all this shit. So I, you go right so I said, I said, you know what, bro? I said, you, you're good. All right. I, I, I'd never met the dude face to face. I only talked to him through Mark and we would page each other and talk on the phone. So I call, so I call Mark and like, Mark, I'm like, bro, your boy's fucking tripping. You need to get over here. So Mark comes over, what? So Mark calls him and tells him, hey, uh, you better have my friend's jewelry or his money by tomorrow or we're going to put a Suburban in your living room tonight. And he was going to turn your house into a fucking drive through bro. And he had to do live with his wife and kids and shit. He goes, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to fucking steal a Suburban 4x4 and put it right in your fucking house. And when you fix that shit, we're going to drive another one right through that bitch. And he you better fucking come with my shit. My boy's fucking shit. And then the next day, oh, yeah, I got it, dude. One of my employees tried to pull a quick one and took it all out. And when I told him to look out, you know, and I was so whatever, I got that shit back. And so things were getting really fucking... Live and hot, live. dude. It has Wild. to be. And then, bro, they, wait. How long is this? After the the robbery? Yeah, yeah. like how 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 many weeks, days, whatever. After we're talking. the robbery, this is we're talking. This is about four months after the robbery. Five months after the. Robbery. Oh, okay, damn, okay. You still have this over you. Yeah, this whole time. Hey, you been, how long uh, you been sweating? Like we robbed it in early May and it's May, June, July, August. It's about August. How long yeah. have you been sweating? Like he's gonna flip. Or you thought everything was? That's my. That's my. Two months in. About three months in is when they started licking. So, so we have a month of sweating, right? Yeah. And Fuck. Yeah, and so so then uh, they pick up, they run Freddy on uh, Bear County's Most Wanted, dude. No. But, yeah, they run him on Bear County's Most Wanted, and they pick him up. They do a whole, like, America's Most Wanted profile. He walks in with the Mac 11. He lives a wealthy lifestyle of a doctor, a lawyer. He drives BMWs and oh. 300 ZXs and motorcycles, but he's a jewelry store robber and all this shit. They did this whole fucking thing on Damn. it, and everyone saw it, and my, pet, my dad texted me, son, we saw this thing about Freddie, and they'd seen me with him, dude. And they were like, are you involved? With and I was like, yeah, man. And my dad was like, fuck son and i was like i know i'm i'm done yeah, i'm in it and then um they picked up freddie and then he kept calling page he kept calling like hey they haven't gone to get you yet bro like fucking and, and like what the fuck are you saying i don't know what you're talking about dude and then mark was like bro mark was like we got to get out of here dude we got to get freddie's gonna snitch um he goes i have this lick that we could hit oh he goes they have about six hundred thousand cash they deal with and drops from this del- like a FedEx type delivery drop. Play. And he said, "But we have to get buzzed in, so we have to kill the person inside because we got to go in without a mask." And so um, I could steal a fucking truck, and then I'll get a uniform from UPS, and let's go in, and we'll get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, "No, bro, like, no, dude, I'm That's not." That's digging yourself in a way. So that would have been role. that would have been three murders. If I would have killed yeah. those, at least one dude in the truck, Freddie, and then whoever we went to rob, if I didn't know, have the balls to say, nah, bro, I ain't doing that shit. So I was like, nah, dude, I, I'm not fucking going to kill anyone. No, bro. And then uh, he's like, ah, so I'm just going to go report to parole one more time, dude. I'm taking off on the run because I can't have a warrant. If I, go, if I don't report, I'll put a warrant instance. He went to report. They picked him up when he went to report. Damn. And then they, then they raided my parents' house, and then I went, just went and turned myself in. Did they find any of your shit? No, no, no. They didn't get. They didn't get shit back, really. And uh, then Freddie escaped. <laughs> <laughs> he escaped, huh? Damn, dude. <laughs> oh, he played Heat on. Sounds like a fucking yeah. movie, right? That dude, is I'm a listening, fucking dude. movie, dude. That's fucking yeah, then wild. Yeah, Freddie, Freddie escaped. Um, Not only like the heist, but then to almost get fucked over by the the, the rednecks in the truck. Yeah, that's like a so much shit going on. It's like a bro. fucking movie. Dude, I wonder bro. if they know. Hey, speaking of movies, check this out. I got an idea. Have y'all seen The Warriors? Yes. That's one of my favorite movies. You seen The Warriors? Yes. <laughs> okay. A prequel. <laughs> I thought they said they were doing that or some shit. And call it Cyrus. And Dude, maybe it, I heard you yeah, talk about it. it all about how Cyrus comes to call that meeting. Before he does the before can you dig it. Up. Yeah. And it dies. right, And it, it, it ends right where you can. you, And that's where it ends. And the other... Oh, and do it how Cyrus. I think Cyrus. I heard you talk about yeah, it. Yeah, maybe I told you that over when we were drinking that night because I haven't had I've had it in my head. Because like, I fucking love the Warriors, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's dope, right? That's, that's one of my yeah. favorite movies. I that's, just did so. Let's write a script, a Cyrus script, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it. We could even make up how Cyrus got there. <laughs> that is wild, dude. Yeah, well, I, I can't believe anybody hasn't thought of that yet. 
No one is. Not everyone's me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is. Yeah, then, then that fucker escaped, dude. <laughs> yeah, that fucker, that fucker, he did it backwards. Right? He should have escaped instead of snitched, right? Yeah. Because oh he escaped, dude. they were because they were offering him forty five years. So <laughs> they were offering me twenty, Mark thirty five, and Freddie forty five in the driver ten uh, probation. And um, he ran it on everybody. Yeah, and then they were offering him the most because he had the Mac eleven. Yeah, and, and, but. Uh, and uh, he escaped. He got a hacksaw blade from an outside trustee, sawed his way out through the little gate over the wreck area, and got out and jumped off the roof and took off and was gone for three and a half years. He was on America's Most Wanted after that. <laughs> Damn. He was man. on America's Most Wanted. Um, he was gone for three and a half years. He wrote a letter to the sheriff, Gary Painter, in Midland saying that he would turn himself in if they came down on that 45 year sentence they were wanting to give him. And um, they said, I remember that Gary Painter Not came anymore. out saying, Alfredo Martinez, <laughs> we're, we're going to give you a day for day for your crimes against Midland, Texas. No. And, well, and then they caught him and they gave him 99 years Ooh. for the robbery plus 10 years federal for, for the escaping. escape. So right now, he, I, I, cause I, look, I would look him up in the, the state. You can go to the TDCJ because my son's in there and I got other homeboys that I grew up with that are in there and just seeing what, where they're at. It's like Facebook for inmates. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And so uh, he's gone. Freddie, I can't find Freddie in this Texas. So he's doing, I think he did, because we're under the one-fourth law, which means, say it's 100 years, so he had to do 25 years um, to be eligible for parole. And now he's doing, they probably moved him to a federal facility to do the 10-year sentence now for escaping. So he already finished the 99. He finished, he made parole on the 99. Whatever it was, yeah. But he could fuck up and get revoked. I have a friend that's doing a life sentence He's been there since 88. Fuck. And when he got the life sentence in 88, he went back to the, after leaving court, he went to the, back to the jail and beat the fuck out of a guard. And he got a 10-year sentence for assaulting that guard. And that was on top of his life it, sentence. Yeah. And he don't give a fuck. He's not thinking he's ever getting out. He's got a life sentence. It's 1988. Here we are. He made parole oh. on the life sentence. And now he's doing the 10-year sentence for assaulting that guard. Shit. Jeez. So technically, he's on parole for the life sentence while he's in prison. So if he does something... That's a bigger up, fuck up. They could revoke that and he can go back to doing the life sentence again. So he has to... He to really appear. fucked himself in a circle. Yeah, he did. Uh, he's got himself wow. walking a fucking bad That's line. trippy. It is. I've had a few friends that have done life sentences, dude. When I was at Beetle One, when I walked out to the wreck yard, they do what's called Gora Checks. And uh, they want to see if you got heart, and they fight you. Homeboys fight you. Yeah, like and, baby boy. Yeah, you got heart. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, just like baby boy, it's exactly <laughs> like that. Because when you walk in the circles, they make it like a heart. <laughs> yeah, everyone's in the shape of a heart, and they're, yeah. and they're like, "Have you seen Baby Boy?" <laughs> <laughs> Recite it line for line. They're, they're like that. What's your best they're, scene? Dude? You what was Tyrese's yeah, dad's name? <laughs> <laughs> they're like that. And then they go, do you, "Do you have heart?" And I go, "Oh." <laughs> and they're like, hey, "Throw up your set." <laughs> they go, check. They're like, it's a quarter check, right? Then everyone's like that. Oh. <laughs> the homeboys are doing the quarter check. The new gay gang in there. <laughs> uh, so. But uh, right when I, I thought I was going to throw fucking chingazos and uh, my homeboy was like, a dude walked out of the fucking circle and was like, hey, bro, I know you. And I was like, what's up? He was like, Edward. I was like, Robert, what's up, bro? And he's an old friend of mine from the world. And so he comes, hey, man. They were like, you know this vato is there? Oh, the fucking dude. And he was like, yeah, man, it's my homeboy from the world, bro. He goes, come here, man. Let me holler at you. So he pulls me away and he was like, hey, bro, how, how much time are you doing? I was like, seven years. He goes, what you got on it? And I was like, I got five on it right now. Um, shit, I made parole for a year from now. Uh, other than that, I could finish it in another year, you know? And I was like, you, bro, I heard you got 10. He goes, I got a life sentence, bro, two of them. And I was like, ooh, don't touch me. This <laughs> <laughs> might be contagious. <clears throat> and he was just like, yeah, bro. He goes, look, man, they're doing quota checks. We really don't want to be doing them anymore because Houston and uh, Dallas, Houston, Dallas, Austin, and Fort Worth are the four horsemen tango, right? And so they quota, do their quota checks over there. And so a lot of them, when you do a quota check, you go, bye, bye, bye. And then all of a sudden they say, stop. And some dude might have busted your nose up or just gone a little bit too much. And like, really, bro? Like, okay, I got you. Now I'm watching you and waiting for you to fuck up. See that? Do you see what he's yeah. doing? And then you're making enemies out of the, the crew. All the homeboys were fighting. There was a lot of inner fighting because the quota checks were going too far. 
And so they said, we were trying to get away from doing the quota checks. His homeboys are going to lock up and all kinds of shit's happening. Um, but if you're fucking up, bro, he said, and I vouch for you, they're going to fuck us both up, bro. And I was like, no, nah, bro, I know how to do my time, bro. I'm, I'm not a fuck up. And then he was like, all right, bro. And so, you know, I was cool. You know, Beta One was, was we spent most of the time in lock, lockdown anyway. They're stabbing fucking inmates, stabbing guards. It's scary when you're at a unit where they're stabbing guards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's a lot of people that just don't give a fuck. Yeah, because they'll stab an inmate quick if they're stabbing guards. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, they, you know, and then they're gassing wings, dude. They, and I never got gassed. You know, like a lot of dudes you talk to that go, oh, yeah, how many riots were you in? Luckily, none, bro. I wasn't. I'm not this dude. Yeah, no, no, no. Fucking luckily, none. But they fucking rioted in the wing right next and got gassed the fuck out of it. And then it all comes through the vents. Oh, you, so you, you did get gas, like, bro. Yeah, you're just in there. But I wasn't in the riot, luckily. Uh, yeah. But they gassed the fuck out of us and, and everyone. And, the bullets had got <clears> names <throat> on them. <laughs> Casualty of war. They stick a fucking, what's weird, they don't like throw a, a fucking, uh, what's that, tear gas bomb into the, into the wing. They have like, what, it looks like a, like a, a leaf, an air blower. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you seen them? And oh, they shoot shit. tear gas out of it. Mm. And they just open that bean hole, shoot into. They close down the whole fucking wing. <clears throat> they stick that fucking thing through the hole. Damn. And, and just pump fucking tear gas right <laughs> into the fucking wing, dude. <laughs> and, and none of them even get touched. <laughs> and it's just <clears throat> your eyes just start burning. And just all, everyone's all ah. like, none of the guards will get touched then. No. Nah. Man, that sounds because cool. they're hanging out outside, just yeah. chilling. It's That's just, fucking wild. That sounds yeah. scary. It sounds like prison. <laughs> it's almost like being locked up. <laughs> Actually, yeah, and it's funny. I have a, I have some questions I want to. Uh, ask. Go ahead, I have some dude. crimes I want to ask. Go you. ahead. Go ahead. Let's let's beat down this fucking no, 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 no. session of. Crime. So it's gonna be. <laughs> you have three guys in front of you right now. I'm. A, I got a list of crimes. Okay. Pick which one you would do the crime with. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> you know what? You want to pick one? Rab it out the hat. Go ahead. Crime out of the go hat. Ahead. <laughs> Yo, I said that too. I said that too. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> That's definitely censored. No. Wow. <laughs> that was hard. That was, that was that was I, I said that too, that dude. Was, I swear to God. That was but amazing don't, you said that. Uh, but no, it's not written down. It's not written so down. Crazy. <laughs> it says arson. <laughs> <laughs> It was a freebie. They gave you. RC. I'd have to go with Jake. Hey. And I'll give you a reason why. Yeah. I want to know. I would love it. Because he's already flaming. Because he's halfway flaming. Because because he's thin and he can float real away. No, because we'd have to run, and he could run fast. Y'all not, get caught at the scene of the fucking... This fuck isn't you. a fucking uh, physical. No, nah, I'm, not, I'm not offended. I, I, I respect it. Yeah. All, all right, right, you're right, next. Please. Robbery. Um, Specific. <laughs> <Get Jakey. laughs> you need somebody fast on their feet, you know? What kind of robbery? Just any robbery? It's just a robbery. Just a robbery. No, right. no, no let me see. I I mean, hearts. Anyone could be good for a robbery, but I need someone that looks vague. Someone that I could match the description quick as fuck. Yeah, yeah. you might match the description. In, you in, might, you might. You would in Indian and Midland. Match description quicker, so it'd be one of y'all. Yeah, I you'd fit. Say, yeah, I look like you look. We like look like mayor, everyone in you, San Antonio. You look like the mayor of Whoville. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, so I'd have to go with, with Patty. With Patty over I'd say here. Pat. Yeah, kidnapping. Yeah, you're a kidnapper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. You're a fucking kidnapper. No explanation. No, explain yourself. Yeah, explain. Vandalism. No, 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 let's explain why Scott's a kidnapper. I'm not no kidnapper. Look at him, dude. Well, it, it, he'd probably be the hardest one to do a kidnapping with because they'd be like, are you going to kidnap me? <laughs> <laughs> that was their whisper in the yeah, ear. Yeah, he looks, yeah. He looks almost like that clown on the... American Horror Story. Bro, what are you doing oh, in my life? Oh, yeah. the Rob Zombie movie. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't like any Rob of it. Like, if you let yourself go. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I did. This is, this is uh, uh, fucking Scott 5.0 right now. Like, <laughs> the best version of Scott I've ever Scott seen, dude. Yeah, Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scott T. 1000. And I still look like this, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. A friend of mine uh, just went through a divorce, and his wife's like, I want to see you be like a better man and then maybe we can make things work again. And I'm like, bro, she don't even realize this is the best version of this dude that's ever fucking <laughs> yeah. been. Like, You've been there, done that. I've known this dude for a long time. And I'm like, 
You're lucky he got where he is right now. Yeah. Like he did, and and it's not good enough. Just let it go, bro. You ain't ever gonna be good enough. Yeah. Yeah. So what what what's in, what other crimes? Vandalism. Anyone could do vandalism. What's a man? Yeah, we want hard yeah, crimes, yeah. dog. <laughs> not even a crime. Well, you said the first one. We want hard. <laughs> Pause. We know you do. <laughs> Fraud, forgery, counterfeiting. Fraud? Mm. For, I, f- I feel like you would probably. Be no, I'm saying I'm telling you right now, it's this guy. It'll be yeah, Scott. It would definitely be Scott. Really Scott a good kind of yeah. Yeah. Scott's yeah. like a, you know, those equations in the back of your head, like Scott. The, yeah, he's a human like gift. Piece of crap. He's smart, but in the evil way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. This dude genius. knows how to pull scams for assault. Sure. No, I think I think I get Patty over here to just fucking hit someone with you just put some of that weight behind it, dude, and then run, dude. I'm just <laughs> <to run>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Selling buying drugs. That's you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. You look like you're on drugs. I'm not. <laughs> but you look like it. He's oh. so good at drug math. It's uh, it's amazing, <laughs> yeah, he dude. Really is. <laughs> Burglary motor vehicle theft. Not you. It'd have to be Jacob again, dude. We wow. need someone that can run when people come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't get caught at the scene of the crime, bro. I've never got caught at the scene of the crime, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I was on Crime Stoppers once, bro. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have a good picture of you. <laughs> oh, dude, they had they had a video of me, bro. <laughs> yeah. What? They had me right there, bro. Like they showed me, they picked me up, and showed me they. What do you want to tell us about this? And I was like, well, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> who's that sexy yeah. motherfucker? Yeah, they're showing me the video. <laughs> But this is the 90s. They don't have no 1080p. They're yeah. in HD. Yeah. I was on the uh, CVS steel cam one time. <laughs> yeah. and I <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Dude. I, and if Dude, I would, you should start the story if, and let him finish it. If I had gone on the <laughs> run. Way up, not down. You know, if I had gone on the run for the jewelry stores, I would have been on America's Most Wanted, too. So I could have been on Fox. <laughs> I could add a credit. Yeah. Add a credit. yeah that you can. seen him on Fox. You seen him on Fox. <laughs> you, you seen him on America's Most Wanted. Yeah. My my cousin was on America's Most Wanted. But he was the cop. <laughs> oh, what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I, I used to sell uh, car insurance. <laughs> with his buddy of mine and he's fucking crazy dude. Funny, like, he's just so uh, yeah, jewelry yeah, insurance yeah, I know this dude uh, <laughs> no I don't sell that uh, it lapsed uh, uh, a buddy of mine he's, he's a dude I grew up with he's wild too man and he had he started this insurance agency right and he goes and I would go out to dealerships and remember Ugly Duckling mm-hmm. yeah Ugly Duckling that was like Fifth chance. You got five repos. We're willing to give you a chance yeah. at number six. We you know? work with any, yeah, any yeah, good, credit. bad, horrible, even his credit. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so fucking, uh, this dude sitting there in front of me, and and I'm calling my friend. I'm new. I'm just out of prison, and I, I'd sit there with the computer, and, <laughs> and I'd get the dude's information, and I'd call him up. Yeah, I got this guy, and the guy's sitting right across from the desk in front of me. Uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, what's your age? Uh, name? Age, date of birth, uh, occupation, and he goes, "I'm a, a prison guard," and I, I go, uh, "He's a prison guard," and my friend goes, "Oh, so he's a bitch, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> Loud, bro. Right, the, the dude is, the dude is looking, and he just looks up like that, and I was like, "Uh huh." Damn, dude, that was wild, dude. A lot of fucking stories. Dude. I, that, we, that, that sounds like a fucking movie. Do this for hours. That's so crazy. Bro. Yeah, oh, I, I, long I, night, boys. We can fucking wrap up, you dude. Uh, right, what you got? What you got coming up? Anything? You uh, got to dude, actually, I don't. I just cleared. You now know, that you're mobile. Now yeah, that I just cleared man. the books. I had been. Uh, I had my last doctor's appointment for my ankle yesterday, um, so I'm cleared, and I'm gonna start getting some things booked. But I hadn't really wasn't trying to. I couldn't really move around. I, I didn't know how that. my ankle was feeling, but it's getting better, man. I'm I'm back on it. I'm going back to work next week. Hell yeah. And um, yeah, I got some shit I'm working on. Me and Chris Pettis are going to do some shit together. Fuck yeah. And um, But yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll I'll get it up this year. I was listening really quick, not to segue. I know we're wrapping up, but I was listening to uh, catching up on some of the latest episodes of What's Up, Sucker. Uh-huh. You plan on releasing a special soon, right? You're talking yeah. about it? Yeah. Hell 15 yeah. years. Yeah, I want to try to um, you need work opener? with Chris Pettis to... Do a special. We're looking for a fucking venue and the different things to put it together, and um, that's what fuck you. Yeah. That'd be fucking awesome, bro. Oh, yeah. With this new production company, Blue Mariachi Productions. Fuck yeah, nice. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to give anything no, no, away. No, no. Yeah, we talked yeah, about, about it on, about on my on my yeah. What's Up Sucker What's podcast. Up Sucker podcast. Yeah, like, share, yeah check subscribe. me out on the What's Up Sucker podcast, and uh, I'll be I'll be hitting. Some What's shows. your IG? Uh, what does that mean? Instagram. Instagram. Uh, little Edward eleven eleven. Eleven eleven. One 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 one. 
My birthday's November 11th. Nice. Y'all got anything uh, coming up? I ain't got shit. Yeah, uh, malt liquor score. Want to work on that one again? Malt underscore <laughs> liquor score. What's your, I don't know. Listen, malt. You, you changed your name. It's I'm malt underscore sure. liquor underscore poppy. There you go. Find him on Instagram, ladies and gents. Yeah. Uh, Jakey, I'm going to slap your friend. Jakey5 on Instagram. Uh, Jakey5 this, underscore. Jakey5 underscore on Instagram. Stupid. This Friday, uh, I'll be with Davey Jackson at 9 p.m. at the Station Comedy Club for the Relapse Show. 9 p.m. this Friday. Uh, it's going to be dope. Come on out every Friday. Station. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, this weekend, Friday and Saturday, if you're not at the station, go to Upstage. I'll be opening for uh, uh, Alex Ramundo. Fuck yeah. yeah. One of the original Kings of Com- or Latin Kings Latin of Comedy. Kings comedy. With Fuck Raymond yeah. Orta, too. Is oh, he on I don't that know. one? I don't know. I know he's bringing somebody, but I'm, I'm opening. I'm oh, no, they're at Isla. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He's, he's doing the Texas run. But uh, yeah, man, at your homie Pat, babacolacore.com, and like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Yeah, man. Peace. Peace.